What's up guys, my name is Jeff Walker. I'm a professional motocross racer. MX Locker is a marketplace for the motocross community. I personally use it to get rid of some of my gear after a long outdoor season, so check it out. All you have to do, take a photo, hit upload. It's really that simple, and it lets you connect with some privateers in the sport such as myself. My son loves your videos. No way. We just watched the GoPro China Supercross track. I loved it though, I felt like I was in it. Like, is he gonna jump that? It was cool. What do you think, sir? There you go. He, no, you can do it, you can do it. Yeah, come on in. Do you wanna sit on the bike? No, no alright. Thanks, Jeff. Yeah, no all problem. Right. Thank Don't rip you. it up out there. Thank you. Yep. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. That moment was way too cool not to put in the video. Um, right before I went out for qualifying practice, Jason Wygant came over with his son Lane, said they watched the videos and wanted to get a picture before I head out there. So really cool. I appreciate Jason taking the time to uh, come over and say what's up. Just goes to show you, you never really know who's watching the videos and it's always cool. Like I'm always surprised to hear other pro riders or just other people that I respect in the industry say that they watch the videos and stuff like that. So appreciate the time. Um, anyways, guys, we're back with some hot and heavy qualifying footage from this last weekend at Southwick all captured on the Insta360 X3 360 degree cam located on my chest protector you guys already know the vibes this is officially the kickoff of the 2023 pro national videos I've been filming at every round so far um, but you guys know with the travel and just the training and the bike maintenance and preparation all that stuff I don't have the same amount of time to devote to video editing as I did a couple years ago when I wasn't so focused on the results and I just was happy to make the motos. Um, it's definitely not the case anymore. I put such an emphasis on getting good results now that, you know, the race vlogs might not come out, you know, two days after the race anymore. It might be a couple weeks or whatever, but I know y'all understand. And when you see the results, uh, I know you guys would rather have it this way. So anyways, we have a big break coming up now after Millville. Um, so I'm gonna be pumping these videos out for you guys. The season has been going awesome so far. I would say right on par or even a little better than last year, um, just being the fact that I'm hovering right around the low 20s in most races even scored some points out in California which last year took me all the way until around five to score points this year it was around two so definitely some progress this year but it has taken a little bit of time to figure out this new bike on the pro tracks finally making a ton of progress on this thing with TCD racing and um, finally finding my confidence at the last two rounds now I qualified really well and raced well at Redbud and here at Southwick so you guys are about to see one of my best qualifying sessions of my career by far so Lane if you're watching this you know your good luck for me you might need to come by give me a high five before all of my qualifying sessions from here on out but yeah this is the first qualifying practice from Southwick so we are 450a which is group three to go out on the track 250 guys got the track nice and broken in but not so much so that it's rough yet so this is the best the track is going to be super important to get out there early in qualifying one at Southwick and lay down a super fast lap time because by the time we get out there for our second qualifier the track is just a different animal so luckily I've been here a few times I know the layout so that as soon as the first roll lap is over we can just hammer put down a good lap time that's exactly what we did my first one kind of gets interfered with by another rider but then we get two more qual good qualifying laps after that and it was good enough to put us p18 in this group so um really good you can see we're taking our parade lap now i'll let you guys enjoy this first uh hot lap and then i'll check back in on my roll lap Mm-hmm. 
honest, not exactly sure what that guy was doing there. Um, I gave him quite a bit of room at the beginning of the lap. Um, I didn't recognize his name and number. So, you know, if it's like Jason Anderson that I'm starting the lap behind, I know I don't have to give him much of a gap, but I wasn't sure who this guy was. So I kind of gave him a gap. Saw I caught him pretty quick and I knew I was gonna have to make a pass in order to make this lap count. So I was going around the outside here. Um, it looked like he was all set up to go to that inside. And for whatever reason, um, he just blew that inside rut and kind of cleaned me out over the berm. So unfortunate but you know it happens um luckily it was the first lap so i still had plenty of time to lay another one down as i said you typically want to get it on your very first lap because the track gets rough so quickly here um but i wasn't panicking because i felt really good on the first part of that lap so i just used the rest of this lap to try and get my heart rate back down and search for a little bit of a better gap so that i wasn't getting interfered with by anyone and uh the second second lap definitely went a lot better so let's go ahead and take a look at lap number two Well, that was a pretty decent lap. Um, I think that was good enough for a 214.6, which was pretty decent. I definitely was a little bit timid in some of the sections because honestly, that was my first time hitting some of the sections wide open. Like I said, I only got like a third of the way through the first lap um, at speed before I had to kind of chalk it. So the whole, you know, the last two thirds of that lap, I hadn't really hit at speed before. So I knew I was a little bit timid in some sections, didn't really know how fast to hit some of the jumps, but I saw my dad put P14 on the board. Um, and I knew the lap had to be pretty decent because I believe that was Phil Nicoletti that started the lap a little bit ahead of me. And I saw it, I mean, I don't think I lost any time to him. I might've even caught him just a little bit on that lap. So I knew it had to be okay if I was keeping it that uh, close to Phil because Phil obviously ripped. So. I knew I had a little bit more in me, could clean up some of the corners, sort of open up the turns a little bit more and just hang it out a little bit more loose. So I can kind of always tell how the day is gonna go based on how I feel after a hot lap. If I'm absolutely smoked after a hot lap, I know the motos are gonna be pretty tough, but after this hot lap, I felt like I could have done a couple more in a row, which is a really good sign for the motos. So I was definitely excited to go out there and give it one last shot at a hard lap and try and get it a little bit lower. And um, obviously as people turn more laps, that P14 is gonna you know turn into a P22 or something. Thing. So I wanted to get a little bit better of a time just to lock in that I was going to be in the teens and we end up lowering the time a little bit in this third lap. So we'll skip it ahead to the start of lap three and we will let her eat from there. So enjoy the hot lap of the day. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
doubt that was definitely a better lap than the other one, but you guys can see just how tough it is to get like a full clean lap in. I mean, no matter how big of a gap you give people, you always run into like five or six guys on your hot lap. You know, it's just how it works out. Some people are on a roll lap and some people don't look behind them too much or they kind of sit in the main line or, you know, even if they're 30 bike lengths ahead of you, you know, if they roll the backside of a jump and get on the gas hard, it can just roost your goggles and stuff and kind of mess you up. So it's so crazy. And the lines are changing so much every lap, like the a good line that you thought you had in, in the lap before you try it out this time and it's completely gone. So definitely made a couple errors, but it was still good enough for a 213.8, which solidified me for P18 in this group. It's funny how you don't really realize the mistakes you made until you go back and watch the video. But man, if I would have cleaned up maybe like three or four of those corners, we could have been so good. I mean, if you look at the lap times, like one second was the difference between me and Phil Nicoletti in 12th, which is crazy. Phil had a 2.12.7 and he was literally 12th place. And then Aaron Plessinger is like one second faster than him. So if you can clean up like two and a half seconds, I mean, you go from P18 to P8, you know, it's, it's so crazy how tight it is. And I just can't help but feel like I'm on that path. You know, I want to get those seconds so bad. And I feel like, especially watching these videos back and seeing the mistakes that I made, like I feel like it's not unrealistic for me to eventually get there. I just need to, you know, grow, grow a little bit bigger of a pair, put some hair on my chest and, uh, you know, clean some stuff up, hold the gas on a little more and just get more loose, man. Like ride like I do on a regular local practice day. So as I said, the last two rounds have been super, super good for my confidence. Qualifying was great in both of them. The bike's been handling good. The motos have been going really well. Definitely a bummer, the labrum tear in my shoulder. Um, it really wasn't an issue all through qualifying, but at the end of the motos, um, and then obviously the next day, like Sunday, I could barely lift my arms and put a shirt on in the morning you know so definitely a bummer that that took place when it did at Redbud, but we're pushing through it we're definitely going to hit millville this weekend probably take wash Ugal off um it'd be a bummer to make that whole drive out there and then have the shoulder bothering me so we're going to have a nice four week break after millville this weekend to try and get the shoulder all back healthy and uh, finish out the last three strong but hope you guys enjoyed this video i love these qualifying videos I just get to share my thoughts with you guys what's going on through my head and uh seems like you guys really like them as well so thank you for tuning in once again race vlogs are going to be coming soon and um yeah we'll catch you guys in the next one thank you very much peace out all right baby let's go very nice man very nice we'll take that absolutely